Hey, what's up? This is Rafael, and today we're gonna clean up this mess on a Shape Oco 2 by 3 printing a box that looks like this. Check it out. So as you can see, I have a mess in my wiring department. Um, I built the Shape Oco 2 about two months ago and I was just testing it, but now it's time to make this, uh, clean this up. I was watching a Fusion 360 video and they were building an Adreno box. So I figured it's time to build my own box and I'm also making a box for the terminal so I wanted to install on the right side of the X axis. Uh, the box has a low profile, it fits three terminals and I installed some, um, installed, made some channels so I can make some room for the cables and there's a top to close it up. The box for the Arduino is in the back bracket and I did not want to use any fans so I just uh, used a lot of holes, venting holes. In the Fusion video, uh, Taylor did the vents um, for the Arduino and he did put that um, line on the left. That was a nice touch, so I figured I would go mental and I did some freestyling, but it did came out pretty good. Um, I did 3D printed it the way, it, just the way it is, and it came out pretty good. Check it out. Looks pretty good to me. So here's the time lapse of the 3D printing. I uh, did a few prototypes. Uh, I was mainly printing at 10%. Uh, so you will see some gaps and some prints, but once I had it set it up correctly, it came out really nicely. This is the part actually installed on the CNC. If I set it up correctly, it looks pretty good. Here's the final design. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little bit tight, but um, I just, just want to have this done. So this is what I'm going to use. And here's the Arduino box with the Arduino in it. Um, the box is a little bit bigger just to fit the G-Shield, um, but everything fits really nicely. So, so first I was threading the wires through the X uh, rails, and I put the Z and X, I'm sorry, yeah, Z and X uh, in the sleeves, and then I added them both in the bigger sleeve and used some heat shrink tube just to lock it up. Used two M5 screws to hold the uh, box. You can see here the sleeve looks very nicely, and here are the wires from the uh, stepper motors. Each wire has a sticky note saying which uh, stepper motor is it from, because at this point it will be hard to figure that out. Well, it won't be hard, but it's just a pain in the ass. I was trying to put the sleeve on this side too, but it was just too short and that was my leftover, so I decided to just twist the wires and it looks just fine. I attached the terminals with double sided tape and started wiring the terminals. And then I started wiring the cables that would go to the Arduino. Here's the box and it's showing the which terminal is what axis. I need a third hole so I just make a quick design and I printed two layers of the box just to have a template for to drill the hole. It worked pretty good. And here's uh, wiring of the Arduino, I mean on the G-Shield and it looks really good in the back. And here's the CNC with the old wiring cleanup. Everything works really good and it looks good. So 
so I'm pretty happy the way it came out. Um, it's slick. Uh, maybe I'll later on I'll get the guard on the right side just so it'll be stiffer. Um, but also another cool thing is uh, when you use it at night, the box LEDs from the uh, G Shield give some cool effect through the vents, so you can put some nice sign there. Alright, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment, and I'll catch you later with the next project.